is about the time of the day when the 70A turns into a parking lot, but a new experiment could immediately help tens of thousands get to their destinations faster. Our 10 News reporter John Horn explains why the challenge is getting drivers to buy in. And there's even traffic on the back roads. Michael Cusack does all he can to avoid rush hour traffic jams on the 78. It's not wide enough that, you know, the, the cars are just, they need at least one or two more lanes on each side. A new lane on the 78 is still several years away, but the North County Freeway is the subject of a new experiment that could make a difference now for tens of thousands of drivers. It all depends on whether they listen to these new signs between Vista Village Drive and Interstate 15. The signs along the 78 may suggest you slow down, but doing so could actually help you beat the traffic. Caltrans and researchers from UC Berkeley say slowing down in times of heavy congestion could help avoid bottlenecks. Alan Cossup of Caltrans says it helps to think of it as pouring water into a funnel. And if you pour it too quick, uh, the funnel overtops. And so the idea is to, to pour it just right so you can get the the maximum amount of water through the funnel. But in the real world, the water is actually drivers, each with minds of their own. And multiple people told me they don't see themselves slowing down more than traffic forces them to. Even if I was to go that speed, the other people would be honking their horns behind me. Kossip says he understands the skepticism, but that it's worth the try. Right, and even if we can get 10, 20% of the people doing it, I think you'll see an incremental improvement in their commute. And that could certainly beat the status quo, which seemingly isn't going anywhere. John Horn, 10 News. We'll see if it works. Those seven signs will be up for six weeks. They are not enforceable. If results show reduced commute times, those signs could be brought back permanently.